in my last video, we spoke about the NCLEX, how to register for your CGFNS, how you want to know the US is the right option for you, and the whole process. If you haven't seen my previous video, I'm going to link um, that video in the description box below. Please go see that video before you see this one, okay? So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and explain what you would be expecting in the endless on the day of the endless and things you need to do before the endless and on the day of the endless okay um so you've gotten your att perfect you scheduled for your exam and now your exam is here the thing you need to do now is you need to study um, I usually advise people to schedule their exam two to three months away so they have a lot of time to do concrete um, studying and also answering of questions, cue banks, and also updating yourself on your content. That way you are still very fresh. You're, everything you have in your head is really fresh, okay? And if you can afford it, you can go ahead and have, you know, go to one of these academics, this um, search point academy or whichever one you want to go for and either go for a one-on-one -on -one training at least a month before the exam. That way you would see how much you know, how much you're able to answer, how much you can remember and things like that. It's really going to help you, okay? Now, one day to your exam, I really advise people not to read, sincerely. A day to your exam, 24 hours to your exam, I really advise you to relax, take a chill day, sleep. Um, for me, that's how I relax. I sleep and I sleep a lot, even though I have a lot of eye bags. <laughs> that is one of the best ways to, you know, to relax, to be yourself, just take away the weight of the, you know, the exams they're about going into, okay? And just get well rested, get prepared for the next day, pick out your clothes, you know, where you're going to go to the hall with and things like that. So some people will tell you not to take your phone along with you, but you're probably going to be in a new country you've never been to. Um, so yes, you can take your phone along with you. There is always like this little boxes, um, but just know that before you step into the, and class center you would have to turn your phone off okay and it is very important to arrive at least one hour to 30 minutes before your exam that way you get checked in you know you're there you're ready you're not rushing in late you you're not panicking that you're late you're you, you know you're you're there you're setting your mood your mind is settled you're not running late and things like that that way it's very easy very easy for you to do that so just come early plan yourself leave your house early like i said you've probably been in a new place where you've never been before you know so it's very important that you you know come early right um, make sure to bring your passport that is very very important definitely would not be allowed in without your passport. You need your passport, you know, that's your means of identification. So that is what they're going to use to know that you are the one. So when you come in, you probably meet a bunch of people who came for other exam. I mean, it's a PSN view center. But when you come in, you register, you do like, a, they, they scan your, your, your palm, you put in your signature, they take your pictures, and then they give you a key. They put your phone, if you have your phone, they put your phone and your passport in a bag and they seal it. It's a sealable bag. So they seal it and they give you the key. So you, what you do is you go, you pick a locker, you put the phone, the passport and everything, your personal belongings in there and you lock it. So you go into the examination hall with just that key okay that key for some of the centers like the center i use i did my exam in the uk psn view center the one at i think um london harbor or something so that was the way i used so the key that they gave us also was the key to the toilet you know so um it's a tap pad so it's the same key you use to access the toilet and stuff in case you want to use the restroom so once you go in, usually the exam starts around 8. Um, some people exam starts around 11. Um, also, while others in some other places, you could have an exam at 1, 2, or 3. But for the UK, I think they usually do 8 a.m. and um, 
11 a.m. Those are like the two exam times they have. So for me, I was I picked the 8 a.m. one because I didn't think I would <laughs> I would be so calm enough to wait to 11 to do an exam. I mean, I think I would be really um, you know scared and shaky and stuff. Okay, so once you go in there, you sit down and please pray. If you're a religious person, um, you can pray to whatever thing you believe in, but just try and pray to center yourself and center your mind, okay? Um, personally, I believe in God, and I did pray, okay? Um, you can say your surah, you can, um, you know, say the Lord's Prayer, or just whatever you believe in, you know, just pray, okay? And I, I believe that prayer usually helps you get centered, you know, help you relax and then you can go ahead and also read the instructions yes um, make sure you're calm enough to read the instructions anything you don't understand please ask them okay they're gonna give you a, pa a paper um, and a marker as well so you can use that if you want to use that if you have anything to write down but please do not write down anything implicating so write down anything like you know, that can help you with your starters you know i know i use i did a b c d and then what i did was um, if I read the first question, the first option, and I'm like, um, I don't think this is the answer. So I put like a bad and I use that to eliminate my answers. But that was what worked for me. Okay. So you can use that to, you know, do anything that works for you basically on the paper. You also get a year plugs for people who are very, um, you know, want to be really focused. You don't want the noise and stuff. You can, you get ear plugs for that as well. Um, I mean, the exam center is really quiet, sincerely. The only noise you might hear most of the time is at the chairs, you know, when the chair scribbles on the floor and, you know, people moving around. That's the only thing you might, all, you know, the clicks from the mouse. I think those are like the most noise you ever hear there. If you need to take a break, um, you usually tell you to raise your hands and then somebody was going to come to you, help you pause or do something and then you go take a break. I always advise people between question 35 and question 40, even if you don't feel like you need a break, please go for a break. Okay. Um, the first time I wrote the NCLEX, I didn't take a break. I was just firing on. I wanted to finish in an hour. I wanted to be like this, but I said, oh, I finished 75 questions in an hour. I did not. <laughs> And I failed. <laughs> okay, so, um, but please, the second time I took the NCLEX, at question 35, I, I was feeling very confident and stuff, but I still stood up. I went for a break. I went to the bathroom, you know, recentered myself, spoke positive words to myself, and then I came back into the exam hall and I finished. I finished at 75 questions in the second time. Um, just try to do that. Try to take a break between question 35 and question 40. Don't over burn yourself don't over exert yourself just try to feel calm and th i'm you i'm saying this now it looks like it's impossible but you actually can do it sincerely you can actually do it okay so just try and do that so after the exam you really have nothing else to do with them so they let you go you can you know just take your stuff and go home and wait and cross your fingers. So depending on the um, board of nursing you use, I use the Texas board of nursing. I finished my exam, I think uh, at around 11-ish. And then I called um, Bo Sandra, she's the owner of Search Point Academy. And I told her about the exam, I finished the exam and stuff. She said, okay, she was gonna wait a little while and then do the Pearson view pop-up trick for me so she did that for me and then she called me back and gave me a heart attack yes she did so if you're watching this thank you but no thanks <laughs> all right so um she called me back and she told me how was the exam what happened i said i was pretty confident with the questions that i answered because i kind of like knew every questions already i knew what you were asking me and things like that i was able to answer all the questions that i know i think i just saw only one question that i've never seen before but i was able to navigate it with the fact that i went to a school of um a middle free school so that helped me you know navigate that question it was an obgyn question by the way 
she helped me and um she did that and then she asked me um do you think you did well i was like where is this question coming from of course i think i did well so why are you asking me all these questions you know and she um yeah, she told me that I had a good pop up, which you know I was. This was around twelve p.m. of that same day, and then at three p.m., three thirty p.m., I got a congratulatory message from the Texas Board of Nursing, um, saying that I had passed the NCLEX. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So basically, that is what you expect on the day of the exam okay so key things to take out from this video is 24 hours before your exam please try and rest um try and give yourself a break you've been studying for months um and this is just 24 hours to the exam i mean if you don't study you can even though you're like oh i can't go a day without studying i feel like i'm going to fail don't read don't answer questions probably just listen to a podcast listen to new um Inkless High Heeled podcast, or you can listen to McClemick podcast. I think I, that was what I did. I just put them in the background for the entire day. Not like I was actively listening, but it was playing in the background. It kept me calm. I knew okay, I'm not studying, I'm not doing anything studious, but that is just playing. And, you know, it just everything i know even sometimes when he talks i'm like you know i'm completing his his sentences to see how much and how <laughs> how much i'd listen to him right so um yeah you can do that you can do that but please don't do any um rigorous studying you've been doing that for months okay and um also try to wake up early um check how far if you're really close to the center you can a day to day exam you can also go and say okay how far would this take me and then you calculate yourself and say okay i'm going to come in at xyz time i'm going to leave my house two hours early i'm going to leave my house one hour early just try and make sure that you're doing the right thing okay sincerely all my prayers are with you if you've written the endless congratulations to you if you're about writing the endless I really wish you all the best. Just put in the work and it's going to pay off. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. In my next video, I'm going to be talking about, you know, after the end class, what next? You know, now I've passed the end class, what next? That is a new, a whole new phase on its own. So I'm going to be talking about that, diving into how to pick it pick out an agency um do you want staffing or direct hire so i'm just going to break down all these things and what they mean okay um, thank you so much for watching i truly 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 appreciate you watching my videos and please do well to subscribe um like this video comment and share if you want me to do anything for you any video you want me to explain you want me to make a video explaining a particular process for you um you know things you don't understand you can always put it in the comment section and i am going to be there to answer you okay thank you so much for watching once again bye and see you in the next one